Intense exercise can cause nausea, muscle burning, and fatigue, sometimes accompanied by headaches and dizziness. These symptoms are usually caused by lactic acidosis during exercise. Now, let's explain what lactic acidosis is. Lactic acidosis occurs when the blood becomes more acidic than normal. Normal blood pH is slightly alkaline, around 7.4. If the blood pH drops below 7.35, lactic acidosis develops. Why does blood pH become more acidic during exercise? The most common cause is strenuous exercise. During heavy lifting or sprinting, when the body demands a high amount of oxygen and it's not sufficient to produce enough energy, the body shifts its energy production from aerobic, or oxygen using, to anaerobic processes, which don't require oxygen. Normally, we get energy from glucose through a process called cellular respiration, which can be either aerobic or anaerobic. Aerobic respiration consumes oxygen, while anaerobic respiration does not. While aerobic respiration is the standard and default method, anaerobic respiration is much faster and is useful during high-intensity exercise. This anaerobic respiration involves the conversion of glycolysis into pyruvate to get energy and pyruvate itself is converted into lactic acid. Lactic acids accumulate first in the muscle cells, then in the blood, causing symptoms. Symptoms of lactic acid accumulation in the muscles include muscle burning and an increased breathing rate. As the body tries to compensate for the acidity in the blood with respiration, a condition called respiratory alkalosis. The principle is to exhale more carbon dioxide, which increases the blood's pH. Nausea and weakness can also be symptoms. Why lactic acidosis causes nausea is not fully understood, but it is believed that lactic acid can directly stimulate the nausea and vomiting center in the brain, known as the medulla oblongata. Additionally, the accumulation of hydrogen ions can irritate the gastrointestinal tract, causing nausea and vomiting. It can also increase vagus nerve stimulation, exacerbating the condition. Another reason exercise can cause nausea is the redistribution of blood flow from the gastrointestinal tract to the muscles. Lactic acidosis is usually harmless, especially when caused by exercise. However, in extremely rare cases, lactic acidosis can develop into metabolic acidosis, which can cause organ damage and even death. But such cases are very rare. The symptoms of lactic acidosis can last from several minutes to several hours. Usually, they importantly subside within 10 minutes after stopping exercise. For most healthy individuals, exercise-induced lactic acidosis is only a temporary condition and will improve over time. The body also starts learning how to handle lactic acid more efficiently, using it for energy and clearing it from the organism. Gradual exercise helps the organism to adapt over time. Time starts slowly and gradually increase intensity, avoid pushing yourself too hard too soon. Times hydrate adequately, drink plenty of fluids before, during, and after exercise. The anti-diabetic drug metformin can also cause lactic acidosis, but such cases are rare and most commonly related to liver disease or kidney failure. However, these cases are rare, and if a person taking metformin experiences nausea, it's usually not because of lactic acidosis. This happens due to irritation of the small intestine caused by metformin, which stimulates the release of histamine and serotonin in the small intestine, potentially causing a sense of nausea.